The reason we began the film with Clavius in a battle sequence was to show what he did every day as a soldier for Rome and what ultimately he wanted to get away from. Clavius and his legion are operating in Judea and they are up against a fierce belief system within the zealot community who have not several gods which the Roman people would have and petition and you could petition different gods at different times. In Clavius's case, obviously, Mars is a god that springs to mind, especially if you're in the business of killing. But what I guess the Romans couldn't comprehend is the idea that there would be one god that serves all. And this is something he would have heard um, and learnt being right next to the walls of Jerusalem. We wanted to focus the film as to the political uprising was between the Christians, who were certainly coming together as a, as a group, and more importantly, a third party in this Judean landscape with its native inhabitants, and Rome ultimately there overseeing the whole territory as uh, land they claimed. The Zealots, they were the more aggressive group of the natives who were speaking out and fighting out, and they did not have a pedestal or a platform to get their message across. So they rebelled, and Rome had to put them down to keep order. The zealot battle, which actually is the second scene in the picture, is, is the most involved sequence in the film. We actually saved it for the last week of filming uh, for a number of reasons, the, probably the largest being the fact that we couldn't find a location that was suitable for it. It's a lot of setups, it's a lot of people. It's a very dramatic but precarious location. So we had to build this stronghold, which is quite primitive because they were not an army. They are not very organized. They don't wear any uniform. <laughs> What was fascinating about how intricate the Roman army machine worked and how they would work at close quarters, and working at close, close quarters meant that you couldn't wield your sword because you'd probably take the eye of your comrade out because they were shoulder to shoulder, shield to shield. So along came the gladius, which was this revolutionary sword, or rather long knife, really a stabbing machine. So rather than slashing, like a lot of the barbarians would be wonderful at, the Roman army was very adept at being surgical about it and would probably have several points of the body in which they would stab from the protection of the shield. They would come up and, and then back. So it was very economical. It was brilliantly orchestrated and lethal. <laughs> 